Hello this is famous chemistry YouTuber now right lol no actually, I am in a copy of his voice, pretty creepy right? Anyway the real Lyle Red needs to do research for some of his experiments and videos just like real chemists in the real world do and students are no exception. So please listen to this boring real human as she explains how to get articles from the American Chemical Society. Thank you fake Nile Red. That's right, the Mercyhurst Tamramel Library has recently acquired a new subscription to the ACS All Publications Package from the American Chemical Society, mostly consisting of journal titles. You can find ACS publications from our website at library.mercyhurst.edu. Go to Find, then Databases A to Z, and you should find American Chemical Society under A. Regardless of whether you're on or off campus, you'll always need to log into the database each time you visit. After you click on the link, it'll ask you to search for your institution here on the left. Search for Mercyhurst, and Mercyhurst University Hammermill Library should come up. Click on that, and you'll be asked to log in to your Mercyhurst account. If you've already logged into your Mercyhurst account in your browser, and the browser remembers you, you won't see the screen and it'll go take you on to the database instead. After you signed in, it'll take you to this publication list. From here, we can browse journals and books by title. Although again, it is mostly journals. Or we can go ahead and do a search up here in the search bar. Let's look for glycol. From here, we can narrow things down using the narrow results column here on the left. So if I want journal articles, I can click on journal article. I can also narrow things down by date, maybe from things from the last year. We can also narrow it down by author, a particular publication, topics, and etc. Let's say that maybe I want to look at this article. I can click on it and it'll give me the record with the information about the article, like what journal it's in and who wrote it, and the abstract that explains the article. The rest of the article is here in HTML format right on the page. But we can also get a PDF version by clicking on PDF here. Unlike many other databases that the library has, ACS Publications does not have an easy-to-use pre-made citations feature. However, it does have some tools that can be used to make citations for you. If you look under Add To, where this red logo is, you can log in with a Mendeley account if you have a free Mendeley account and you choose to use Mendeley as a pre-made citation generator or citation manager program. You can also get generic RAS files under Export RAS here and go to Citation or Citation of References or other options. And from here, you can download a citation file in an RIS format, which can be read by some citation managers such as Zotero to help you create your citation. And this citation information right here may not be the exact citation style that you need for your works cited page, but at least it gives you the information that you need to start that citation. So that you can copy and paste from here and then fix your citation in your word processor. If you want to go back to the publications list, you can click on publications up here and this page showing different kinds of publications and the publication names will come up. If you ever want to start over in ACS, you can click on ACS publications here at the top left. That will take you to the ACS Publications homepage. And you might notice too that there is a button here that says Get Access. This is not necessary because you already have access where it says up here, Access Provided by Mercyhurst University. This homepage also has more information about ACS and more ways to browse their content. Thank you for watching this video about ACE. If you need more help, contact the humans at the library. Good luck on your research. The good deed.